All right, in Shalom, Makiam. First and foremost, I to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there pushing knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that you're going to be called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that you're going to be called God, the one that you're going to be called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means He to be, or He is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, and the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for this word, this opportunity. The body y'all by Shimia was shy for the apostles and elders and all you beloved brethren out there that's holding strong and low willing to the end. All right, coming back, catch you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. Oh, I gotta find that video again. All right, so here's this video. Pretty much this lady um, right here, she's gonna be breaking down some, some very interesting things, man. And we are truly in the valley of the shadow of death. I don't wanna give it away, but um, how, how, how are the things of Esau searched out? The so-called white man is being exposed. His wicked, hip, <laughs> this wicked-ass system is being exposed. So the Heavenly Father is allowing a lot of this information to come out before he destroyed this place, man. Because we are truly in the valley of the shadow of death. And us Israelites out here are a prey. So now the Heavenly Father has allowed you to come back to your heritage, to your nationality, have a connection. You got to stay prayed up. You gotta, you gotta pray for your, um, your children. Pray for the brothers, their children, their you know, brothers' wives. Because anything can happen to you out here. The Lord is not with you, man. And this is dealing with the corrupt, the the, the corruption of um, Los Angeles Police Department. This is Cerise Castle, and I am a journalist. In the summer of 2020, I was working for a local radio station here in Los Angeles. And I was out covering the George Floyd rallies that were happening across the country, across the world. And I was shooting photos of people protesting. And while I was doing that, two cars with police officers on them in riot gear rolled into the area where people had gathered and they shot people with less lethal munitions. And although I identified myself as press, I was shot and the resulting injuries landed me in the hospital. A few days after that happened, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department um, killed a teenager who was working at his job in the Compton area. Very quickly after this young man was killed, his name is Andres Guardado, was reported that his killing may have been part of a gang initiation. And there are some new allegations against the deputy involved in Guardado's case who did not fire his weapon. Civil rights attorneys accused Christopher Hernandez of being part of what some call a sheriff's department clique or gang. While I was bedridden, I started researching the history of the gangs in the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And I found out that this dates back at least 50 years. I spent six months researching deputy gangs within the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Uh, conservatively, I estimate I read about 100,000 pages of legal filings. And what I came away with was a 15-part series detailing 18 gangs that I was able to confirm the existence of within the department. There are the Little Devils, Posse, the Wayside Whiteys, the 2000 Boys, the 3000 Boys, the Jump Out Boys, the Banditos, the Executioners, the Spartans, the Cowboys, the Rattlesnakes, and the Tasmanian Devils. 
They have killed 19 people, all of whom were men of color, several of whom were in a mental health crisis when they were killed. Uh, the government from the county level, the state level, and the federal level has known about this issue since the early 1990s and no significant action, policy change has been brought forth. So let's do a quick run through of the gangs of the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. All of them have stuff in common. You usually have official gang tattoos, a hand signal, and a way to join, usually by shooting or killing a civilian or doing something like falsifying paperwork. These are just a few of the gangs operating within the LA Sheriff's Department. The Wayside Whiteys. The Wayside Whiteys was a gang of white deputies at the Pitches Detention Center in northern LA County in the 1980s and 1990s. Their sign was having their middle fingers crossed to create a W for white. The Linwood Vikings. The Vikings were a gang based out of the Linwood Station. Their tattoo was of a Viking, and their hand sign was an L, made with the thumb and index finger for Linwood. And they were one of the most powerful and most violent gangs. A lot of their members became leaders in the department. The 3000 Boys. The 3000 Boys were based out of the Men's Central Jail in downtown LA. The 3000 Boys are particularly violent because that's where the department would transfer deputies convicted of crimes to keep them away from the public. The Jump Out Boys. The Jump Out Boys operated across the county in the Operation Safe Streets unit. Their tattoo was of a skeleton with glowing red eyes holding a revolver in the dead man's hand, a popular poker holding among law enforcement officers. They kept their manifesto in a notebook. The Regulators. Out of the Century Station, you have the Regulators, who allegedly have many members working in department leadership. The Executioners. At the Compton Station, you have the Executioners. Their tattoo is of a skeleton with a Nazi helmet holding an assault rifle. Black people and women are not allowed to join the gang. The Banditos. The Banditos operate mainly out of the East LA station, and their tattoo is of a skeleton wearing a sombrero with a smoking revolver and a sheriff's badge. They have a culture of working backwards, arresting or shooting civilians, and coming up with probable cause later by planting and manufacturing evidence. There are others, like the rattlesnakes, the pirates, and the buffalo soldiers that we know a lot less about. So yeah, that's pretty much, the, you know, I want to keep playing the video. But yeah, that's, that's, that's some serious stuff, man. And here we are in America, you know, <laughs> if you need any type of assistance, a burglary or whatever you need, you got to call 911 and place these reports. But yet, these people are the, are the ones that's hunting us down. I mean, this ain't nothing new, but it's to the point now that all the tribes is catching the same drama from this wicked, corrupt system, man. It's time to return back to Yahweh Shimmy I was shy. You understand what I'm saying? Because that video ends off with another uh, uh, northern uh, young man who got killed. His mother was explaining what happened. Of course, our people ain't got no help here, so they post up the candles and all that stuff. Ain't no justice being brought, but we're here to tell you the justice is going to come from Yahweh Shimei Shai when he destroyed his wicked-ass society. And two-thirds of our people who, who in the police force, and you caught up in these gangs and all, the Lord is going to destroy you. You Those that's, that's joined hand with hand with the enemy, you're going to be put down. So this is Psalms 23, so we're here to give you some hope and some light, man. That Yahweh Shimei Shai will, will freaking um, recompense will bring re recompense upon the wicked will 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 bring justice to this earth man will bring justice to the so-called white man and his corruption real soon man and it's happening psalms 23 and 1 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want okay because our people have been been totally beat down with the whole christian and you know roman catholic doctrine and into idolatry so you know is is judgment in the other hand but the Heavenly Fall is, is bringing this information out to shed light on, on where we at. Do you know where the fuck you are, man? That could happen to any of us, man. Happen to any any of our children, daughters, aunts, for a gang initiation. It says he making me lie down, lie down in green pastures. 
leading, my, leading me beside the still waters, which is this truth. He restored my soul. This information that we have restored your soul, strengthen your mind, give, give, is giving you a connection back with Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. All right, and, and, and part of that, man, one of the main ingredients is knowing the names of your God and your Messiah, man. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, name's sake. Yahweh, wa Yahweh Shai, wa means end. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Come on, man. This place, a lot of our people live in Los Angeles, you know, are being preyed upon by the gangs and the police force. There's a lot to deal with in, in, in America, man. You see? The, the, one of the first um, incidents the lady it was talking about, how, I don't know, if, did, shit, did we play it? I don't know if I play it. But it's, it's in this video. You got to watch the video. Young man and his friends got stopped at a, uh, a regular tra traffic uh, stop. And they pointed go guns at their heads. Ladies was explaining, man. And, and, and they killed the, uh, the young man. Yeah, I think that's later on in that video. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's crazy. Looked like he was uh, from the tribe of Issachar. You know, because I, you know, we'll, we'll get to the scriptures, man. We are in the valley of the shadow of death. You gotta fear the Lord, man. We are we we are yet this day in our captivity. It says I will fear no evil, cause once you get the full understanding, everything is of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, and you have the names. And the Heavenly Father clearly says, man, if a man's way pleases please the Lord, his enemies shall be at peace with him. So when the police, you know, pull us over. We don't, you know, what I'm saying we do what we have to do, cause the Lord is pleased with us. But you Jakes out here, that's constant rebelling. Breaking the laws and doing, you know, that, that rebellious spirit. The most I got the police force for you, man. And once you get entangled in, there ain't no way out. You see, unless the Lord is with you. So I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Well, what is the rod and the staff? This word is the rod and the staff. Thou preparest a table before me in the, in, in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So let's get some precepts. Good day, man. Because we are in the, man, listen, the worst case scenario ever. You know, you, you, the cops will kill you. Your own people will kill you. The air is polluted. The water is polluted. These women are against us. Yo, man, without this truth, the average Jake out here is messed up. The, the, the gas prices is, is, is crazy high. <laughs> Girls, this, this is punishment. So Heavenly Father has, has woken us up for a way out. And to wake up the rest of the elect so he can destroy this bitch, man. This is pure hell. Because the way I look at it, man, that can happen to me. I'm driving through L.A. Get, get pulled over. Whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, them motherfuckers are, man. Los Angeles Department, New York, Chicago. This whole system is built upon corruption, man. And they're praying on Israel, praying on, on Jacob. Okay, Luke chapter 1, verse uh, 78. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high had visited us. That's his information, his knowledge. To give light, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. This right here will help you survive, man. This information, if you're part of your leg, you're gonna be you're gonna get rescued. This information, you're gonna be you're gonna get tested. One beloved brother, he got tested like that. They, they're ready to kill this brother. Beloved brother that teach with us, man. And it's some, you know, things transpired, but he, he got out out of that situation. He saw how the the, uh, the cops was threatening him, man. You know, this this is serious stuff. To where you, you, the names of the Most High and, and your work is going to help you out, because we are surrounded, man. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace, is through Yahweh by Shimei man. That is the way 
through peace to make to, to get back on, good, on the good grace of, of, of our power, Yahweh by Shimia was shy. Okay, and that, that's through Yahweh Shai dying on the cross, and, and the, the apostles and elders are back on the scene, man. Shalom.